So today we're going to be having two panels and an amazing plenary keynote speaker. So without further ado, Jim Stengel. I don't think there's going to be another event that is the same after what happens here. Friends that activate a higher ideal and all they do grow about three times faster than their competition. It works. It works and it works across countries, categories, business models. It's simple. Everything I'm saying is simple. But it's not easy. I would like to introduce Neil Duffy, as he calls it, to do good while doing well. You don't have to separate the two. Which is about a practical example in a sporting context of how a sporting organization has embraced purpose at the center of its DNA. The thing is, we really wanted to build it in, so I think that set the tone that, look, this is something bigger than just a show. It really is built into the DNA. And so the idea of how do we get fans engaged in our sustainability initiatives, and more than just which color bin do I put my trash. Right now, it's, it's how do we create a program called Play Your Part. When I uh, joined the company about four and a half years ago, I had to remind people that mm -hmm. profits through principle didn't mean we were a nonprofit organization. <laughs> if you do the right thing with the profits that you're making, the more money you make, the more money goes into that nonprofit organization, and the more of them that we can do in the world. And, and it is good for business. I mean, purpose is a differentiator if you really get it right. And people will choose your brand, choose your company, if they know that you stand for the right thing. So I welcome John to the stage with his panelists. What I like about this program with the Super Bowl is that it's not only the most giving, philanthropic, sustainable, etc., but also this notion of being the most participatory. In this next decade, the opportunity for fan engagement is so rich, so rich. Purpose is seen as a cost, whereas we see that if you have a purpose, it's an asset. And why do companies struggle to bring a purpose to life? Because it takes courage. It takes courage to say, this is who I am as a brand, and this is what I stand for as a brand. You know, people have, have a power. It's called purchasing. So if we can actually use that purchasing power to make a difference, I think we can do amazing stuff. So that's our goal as a generation. I mean, we want to make sure that before you purchase something, you see all the options that you have on the table and you make the best option. Because this company is purpose giving, and this company is socially responsibly active. So I think if we have so much power in our hands right now, we just need to make sure that we're making